this too, you guys, so you gotta be real wild for everyone. I saw you raise your hand that it's almost your birthday. When's your birthday? How old are you going to be? Oh! Eleven. That's also out of my first anniversary. So there you go, we'll have all kinds of celebrations. There we go. We love September 21st. <laughs> all right, so have either of you guys ever made a phone call? Yeah, you do it pretty often? What do you do when, when like, to make a phone call, what do you have to do? <laughs> So you basically just see a picture and click a button, and then you get to talk to them, right? Yeah. Pretty easy. So it's not always been that easy to make a phone call, and others may know better than me. Uh, did you guys know there used to be a thing called a party line? <laughs> so there's been a whole, a whole progression of being able to make phone calls from the old turn dial to go all the way through. Then uh, at one point. Um, there used to be, your, basically your whole community would be on one phone line versus just picking up and calling so you could answer and there could be five people already talking and you would just have to ask to find the person that you're looking for. That's pretty wild. You used to have to wait until after it was a certain time to be able to call because you would get charged a lot until it was after 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock. I don't even remember now. I just remember waiting by the phone going, it's almost time <laughs> before my mom wouldn't get mad at me. <laughs> so now you can just click a button. There's almost too many ways to get a hold of people. You can send a message, you can send a Facebook message, you can send an Instagram message, you can send a phone call. There's almost too many ways that people can get a hold of us now. And it was almost similar at one point to being able to talk to God. You guys ever talk to God? Yeah. What do you guys do to be able to do that? Yeah, you just pray. We can sit here right here and be able to talk to God. But we read in the Bible that kind of how there used to be a big, long process to make a phone call, it used to be the same as how they would teach people that's how you could talk to God. You used to have to go to a temple, and a lot of times people would have to bring a sacrifice, or they would have to go out and buy something, and then a priest would have to be available. So you have to go through all these steps. Imagine every time you wanted to talk to God, you had to call Larry and bring a piece of gold and come to the church. <laughs> that would be difficult, right? But that's something that Jesus also did. So when he died on the cross, right, he did a few different things. One, that was the way for us to, um, to forgive us of our sin, but it was also a way for all people to have the chance to know God. And so when he died and when Jesus came to teach us all these lessons, the point was so that we could all know God and know that we had a direct line to God, kind of like we do now with the 50 different ways that we can talk to each other. That's one of the ways that it made it easier, that we can just sit wherever we are and at any moment be able to talk to God and know that we have a direct conversation. So sometimes the simpler way is the best way. Cool? All right, guys. So remember, you always have a chance to do that anytime something's get a little wonky or also there's just a big celebration like your birthday coming up, it's a great chance to thank y'all. Got any of you guys like to pray for us for the week before we start? Let's see. Okay.